And good afternoon and welcome back to Wendy Hill Kennel. So today is the 11th of January. I started to say February. And uh, you know what, when you're inside and, and you're home all the time, what's one month to another month? They all run together. <laughs> so, but we're not really inside that much. Uh, this is Maggie's kids. These guys will be six weeks old tomorrow. They're going to have a birthday tomorrow. Guess what you get for your birthday? A shot. Oh my goodness. They smell wonderful. Vanessa just gave them a bath. They're super soft, super fuzzy, super soft and super fuzzy. What are you doing? And we started this a minute ago and they all went to the potty on the floor. So we just decided to start over instead of me wiping up piddle spots for 10 minutes. So they hadn't been to the bathroom yet after their bath. And uh, say, so did we have to get it done? Yes, we did. We had to get it done. You guys are doing really, really good. Uh, they're super fuzzy. They're super sweet. They're getting very social. And don't tell me you're going to go to the bathroom again. Okay, changed your mind. Thank you very much. So if this, <laughs> we're not stopping this time, people. If you know what, poop happens. If we have to do it, please don't do it on my carpet. Okay, I know you're looking. I've done dogs long enough to know that you're looking. So whoop, you walk that way. You know that commercial on TV, walk that way, do it, do it to it. Nope, ran right into that. Um, so we may have to wait here just a second till, I'm, no, I'm blocking you. Nope, can't go that way. Um, these guys are going to be weaned this week. I know, I know, I know, it's a baby. And uh, she's still trying to decide. You know, I've never understood why it takes a dog 10 minutes to find out where it needs to potty not back here on the carpet. I'm just gonna get a paper towel ready because I really think we're just gonna have this happen here in just a minute. And uh, I didn't really start to tell you. Oh, anyway, they're going to, we're gonna start, oh, you snuck in my back corner, didn't you? We're gonna start slowly weaning them this week. And um, they're getting some cottage cheese. We're gonna take them away from mom so that they can eat and mom doesn't eat it. So we're gonna put them in. I Oh, I see you rolling on your back. For goodness sake. It's funny she quit it, but I was going to let you watch her roll her back. She's still trying to make up her mind where she thinks she needs to go. Um, anyway, so when they go home with you guys, they are going to be completely on dry dog food. Um, <laughs> yes, they get cottage cheese every day, but we do not put it in their dog food. Everybody, hi there. Everybody always thinks they have to mix it in their dog food. Please don't do that. We give it to them in a separate bowl. And we, uh, I suppose for each puppy, you know, you're looking at maybe a teaspoonful. If you give them too much, they're not going to eat your dog food. Don't you dare think about it right here. Just keep, keep on walking. <laughs> so um, just a little bit in the mornings in a, a little separate container um don't mix it in their food and we do not feed like most people are used to so all of my dogs including moms dad, oh, she's piddling again nope we're gonna now listen you don't need to go help her yeah you little stinker no don't step in it oh sorry about that oh i'm on you get your foot out i am, took a dive over here to clean up the water because we're gonna have to spray the floor i washed this floor down with um some disinfectant and some vinegar. <laughs> okay, she's still walking. She hasn't decided yet. So, I know, it get this tail. Anyway, I lost my whole train of thought with that. Um, oh, now she's gonna play. Okay, she says, I'm over it now. I'm all done. Okay, what was I talking about? I'm totally lost. Anyway, let's just forget that. So we're gonna do the dog food in the cottage cheese. We feed dry. I feed free choice, which means they only eat when they're hungry. So, so many people take our puppies home and then they call me and go, oh, they're not eating, they're not eating. But they're used to a dog that goes to a bowl and inhales the whole bowl. These guys have always been free choice fed, which means the dog food is in their kennel 24 seven. And they will literally just go and pick two or three little pieces. Two or three hours later, they'll go back through and pick two or three little pieces. They eat so much less dog food when you feed free choice. So, what are you itching so intently? Oh, what are you doing? 
Let me see. What are you itching? You got itchings? What are you itching? Are you itching your cheek? Oh, is it right there? She says, no, it's right there. Is it your ear? Oh, did they pluck ears today? No, not ears. I'm thinking sometimes when we pluck ears, they haven't had them plucked yet to go home. Um, sometimes that makes them itchy, but I can't figure out what you're scratching on your head. No, I can't figure it out. You don't even have collar on. We should have brought collars down today. Um, we are going to put collars on them this week, and we'll give each one of them. Since they're all three different, it won't matter, collar colors. But it gets them used to a collar before they go home. And they don't like it when they first do it. They're going to scratch and scratch and scratch. It takes about two days to get used to it. And uh, so once they get used to it, they don't pay any attention to it at all. But back to the dog food thing. Um, truthfully, when these guys go home, if they are going to the bathroom outside and pottying, or pottying, period, are you going to get it? Are you going to get it? They are eating. Because you have to have something go in to have something come out. Oh no, here, the, here comes the come out part. <laughs> okay, okay. This is gonna be easier to clean up. This, this is a really poopy video, I'll tell you. There we go. Now, I'm gonna have Vanessa show you. This is good puppy poop. You want puppy poop that looks like you can pick it up with your fingers, ta-da. And it doesn't smear all over your floor, but we're gonna have to clean that spot. Now, somebody else go smell that, and you're gonna need to go. So you can tell how your dog is by its puppy poop. Um, I always say Tootsie Roll stools are great. And so if, you're eating, if they're eating dog food, you're gonna get something out the back end and that was a very good demonstration, thank you. So um, she's bound to do it before we're done. <laughs> but anyway, so if you don't wanna feed free choice, please, whoops. <laughs> Please leave your puppy on free choice for at least 10 days. These guys are going to have a huge change in their life when they leave here because they're used to us, they're used to our habits, they're used to our schedules, they're used to, don't bite her, they're used to everything. See, she's going to do this, I know she is. And so, it, give them two weeks, give them two weeks to feel like, Oh, they're fitting in. Don't change your life for them. Don't take two weeks off of work. Don't take a week off of work. Put them right into your schedule. If you take the time off of work to be with this new puppy, you're going to spend all day with it. You're going to love it. Uh, you're going to find out that you have a puppy that gets obnoxious. You want to put it right in your schedule. You want to make sure that it knows, you know, and within two weeks, it's going to start learning when you get up, when you go to bed. Um, you are the most indecisive puppy I've ever seen. Just do it and get it over with. So we're going to weigh these guys. And I got to get that. Yeah, I know you're really thawed with this. This is the only one that's not right now. It's borderline going to make weight for spay neuter. No, you have to just do it somewhere and get it over with, okay? No, 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 you'll be all right. No, <laughs> no, no, I know. You're coming, aren't you? Well, here, you've been walking around forever. Let's weigh you. Let's do you first. This is a little black and white. I love the coat after a bath. Oh, they look so nice. And you are Mr. Shark Bait. You're Shark Bait. Yes, you are. I'm going to pop you in a minute. No bite. No bite. No. No bite. No bite. No bite. No bite. You can come and smell me, but no bite. Yep. Be good boy. No biting. All right. So she is three pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. So we are on the good list to have spay and neuters done. This puppy will be great. No problem whatsoever. See, I'm a fat baby. I'm a fat baby. Yeah, you're a good baby. I love these guys. They have such sweet personalities. You're a piranha. Yes, you are. You're just like a piranha. This is the black and silver. Love the black and silvers. You're so pretty. Yeah, you're so, oh. <laughs> you're so pretty. But don't lick my nose. No, don't lick my nose. All right. I don't like licked. And I'll tell you, most people don't wonder why I don't. I teach them no lick. Okay. Three pounds, 11 something. Nope, you got to move. Nope, you got to move. Nope, you can't help. 
No, nope, you can't help. All right, get over here. All right, you are three pounds, 12 ounces, right on the nose. Yay, jump. Coats on these guys are starting to get waves and flips in them. They've got really nice curls, and you're just a stinker. So this is little Miss Muffet. Muffet would be a good name. Um, I have to remember that we need names. <laughs> so she is, let's see, a drum roll, please. Two pounds. Boop. Two pounds, four ounces on the button. So we got about 12 ounces to go. Do you think we can cram 12 ounces in you? Do you think so? I know, I think we can. Vanessa and I are good at getting babies fat. We'll give you some of that good raw liver. Oh, that'll be good. Yes, that'll be good. She does have a little tiny bit of partial blue eye. It looks like, it's hard to tell, but let me see your eyeballs. Uh, it's iffy. If it is, it's the one on this side, so it would be on your left as you're looking at the video. I don't know, it's so hard to tell, but she looks like it. Coat's getting tons of waves and flips in it. Her coloring and her phantom markings are staying really good. Don't come up here and be mean, no. But I, she's iffy, but I think we'll be able to make it. I think she'll gain 12 ounces in two weeks, I really do. Um, it's just, those little tiny ones, I just, you know, I'm like the bed, I hate to put them under. They're only under just enough to keep them out. She's, it takes about six minutes to do a female spay. And then they're done, they come, they give them gas, the anesthesia goes away. And they wake up finally. Oh, no, not yet. Um, then they wake up pretty quick. So it's not really hard on them. Um, I just worry about them with the calories. So I know the girls, when they go in, they also take extra time to give them some Nutrisource or NutriCal, which is actually, it comes in like a toothpaste tube. It's a real high calorie food supplement. And it's great. It keeps them from getting hypoglycemic. Um, anybody that's under five pounds runs a chance of being hypoglycemic. So that's why you do not want to limit their dog food to twice a day. They also need more calories than that um, because these little guys need a high protein, high fat. And if you limit it, you run a chance of hypoglycemia. So you really, really, she says, I'm gonna get this yellow duck. She says, I'm gonna get it. She's gonna kill the duck. Oop. She's funny. She says, get your feet out of the way. I'm going. I'm going places. So we introduce them to stuffed toys all the time. So they're used to stuffed toys, squeaky toys. We haven't given them yet. But they'll get squeaky, to squeaky toys when they come in the house. 13. Are you being very quiet? Yes, I know. So, but they're doing great. And I wanted to get you a video so you could see how they're doing. And they'll change each week. Um, you'll be amazed how much they change each week. Where are you going? You want to come up here? I know. Where are you going? What are you doing behind me? Where are you? No, you're not going out of my pen. You found the hole, didn't you? I know. You're sweet. This one's a snuggler. You're not as wild as the rest of them, are you? No, you're not as wild. You just like to snuggle. So if you have any questions about these guys, please give me a call. They go in on the 23rd. They can start going home on the 25th. Um, if you have not booked in with me, please give me a call um, or shoot me a text. We will get you booked in for puppy pickup. And um, I'm going to send your videos out probably this week. So you'll get an email from me that's got about seven videos in it to watch, please, before you come. 14. And I'll send you your vitamin information uh, that we've been giving these guys. If you don't get both of those, please call me and let me know. I will be sending them out today. So you should have them by tonight. So um, I hope you have a great week. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. They're doing really good. They're just being great babies. And um, have a good week. Pray for our country. And we'll talk to you soon.